Welcome to Vintage Auto Docs. You are invited to step back in time and explore a treasure trove of dealer brochures, newspaper ads, and other automotive memorabilia from yesteryear. Our journey will take you back through time as we uncover fascinating stories that bring these artifacts to life. Get ready to rev your engines and drive into a world of automotive nostalgia. Bob Doring, curator of the Vintage Auto Docs here. Let's step back in time with the 1968 Ford XL a true icon of its era. This magazine ad captures the essence of classic American style and innovation, showcasing the beautiful lines and impeccable design that define this vintage beauty. With features like a powerful V8, sleek bodywork, and luxurious interior finishes, the Ford XL was a standout choice for those who appreciated both performance and aesthetics. In this episode, we'll examine the ad and the car's story. Let's dive in. The 1968 Ford Big Cars were a continuation of the previous year's design with some notable changes. The front end received an update that gave it a sleeker appearance compared to its predecessor. This included hidden headlights and a honeycomb grille featuring one central dividing bar. Despite retaining their shape, the taillights now featured horizontal divisions for backup lights. Additionally, more safety regulations were introduced, including federally mandated fender marker lights on both ends of the car. For those looking for sportier options, there was also the XL model, which came equipped with features like vinyl bench seats, full wheel covers, and electric clocks as standard equipment. This year marked another significant change with Ford replacing its standard V8 with a durable six-cylinder engine as their standard offering. The 240 cubic inch engine was an overhead valve, cast iron block, making it one of the most reliable options available at that time. However, despite its potential, few cars were actually built with this setup. Only 132 fastback models and just eight convertibles received the engine. Instead, many opted for Ford's other option of the trusty V8 engines. The base 302 cubic inch delivered up to 210 horsepower when specced out with a two barrel carburetor. Optional engines for this model include the 390 cubic inch, which boasts an overhead valve and cast iron block V8 configuration. It comes with either a two barrel carburetor, 210 horsepower or a 280 horsepower high compression option. For even higher power, the engine produced 315 horsepower when paired with a four barrel setup. For those seeking even more power, when the mighty 390 horsepower, 427 cubic inch V8 engine was replaced mid-year with two new options, the Cobra Jet and Super Cobra Jet engine. While these engines were advertised as having a rating of only 335 horsepower, they were actually much stronger than that. Thanks to some clever manipulation by Ford, they used the rating to get an advantage over competitors when it came to classifications at NHRA events. By claiming lower ratings than their actual output levels, Ford's cars quickly became feared on both streets and strips alike. Especially with lightweight Mustang bodies installed, these engines proved unbeatable during drag races held throughout 68, where they dominated every single category within the super stock classes. Despite being exposed by the NHRA, Ford continued to claim that their 428 CJ produced only 335 horsepower. Nearly 46,000 V8 Fastback XLs were manufactured along with over 6,000 convertibles during this time period with V8 engine. As was customary at the time, there existed an extensive list of options available for those who wanted them. Too many to enumerate here. However, a notable option was the GT package on the XL. For $204.64, you could order the GT Equipment Group, which included power disc brakes, maximum handling suspension, high ratio rear axle, simulated mag wheel covers, non-reflective GT tape stripes, GT emblems, G70 by 15 wide oval white side all tires. It was only available for XL cars with 390 or 428 cubic inch engines. A predominant competitor of this car was the Chevrolet Impala, the Impala line had similar options, including the Fastback Sport Coupe with Super Sport options. Greg Zyla of Auto Roundup states, As for competition, back in 1968, Chevy had a full-size 427 SS Impala that was one of the hot tickets on the street scene. Thus, 
For those who wanted more room than a Chevelle or Mustang, it was either an SS427 or a Galaxy XL GDT428. Ford's XLGT came in both convertible and fastback editions, although Chevy probably promoted its full-size muscle car a little better than Ford did back then. Ford also had a Torino GT that was a real hot ticket for performance buffs too. Still, there's no taking away anything from Ford as to the importance of the XLGT to today's performance enthusiasts and car collectors. The ad we are looking at in this episode appeared in late 1967, at the beginning of the model year. It stated, Quiet, strong, beautiful, a great road car, 68 Ford. You don't build a great road car overnight. In 1965, Ford built a car quieter than a Rolls Royce. In 1966, a Ford was quieter than many of Europe's most expensive cars. In 1967, a Ford was strong enough to leap off an Olympic ski jump and still stay quiet. That's how it happens. First, you build a good car. Then, year by year, you make it stronger and quieter until you dare to match your quiet ride with any car in the world until you dare take on a mountain to prove your car's strength. Then you have a car so quiet and strong it turns driving into pure pleasure. Then you have the 68 Ford. Ford has a better idea. The small print under the photo adds facts about the 68 Ford XL Fastback. Sportiest of the 21 new Fords for 68, two-door XL Fastback and convertible seat six. 240 cubic inch six retractable headlamps and die cast grille are standard. Better ideas include options like select shift transmission, works both manually and automatically. V8s up to 428 cubic inches. GT equipment group with special suspension and axle, wide oval tires and GT decor. Select air conditioner, AM FM stereo radio. Robert Tate, automotive historian and researcher, states Ford's advertising campaign for 1968 was a great one for the buying public. The inscription Better Ideas at the bottom of the 1968 full-size Ford catalog marked one of the first uses of a slogan that would serve Ford well for many years, especially when combined with the image of a glowing light bulb. The Better Idea campaign was one of the most enduring in Ford's history and used well into the 1970s and still remembered to this day. The ad was the work of Ford's long-term advertising agency, J. Walter Thompson. J. Walter Thompson, one of the most successful advertising agencies in history, owes its existence to James W. Thompson's visionary leadership skills. The J. Walter Thompson Company, commonly referred to as JWT, is one of the oldest advertising agencies, with a rich history dating back to 1864 when it was founded as Carlton & Smith. James Walter Thompson joined this company at just 20 years old and rose through its ranks until he purchased it in 1896, renaming it after himself. The focus on magazine advertisement proved highly profitable for JWT under Thompson's leadership, thanks to innovations such as creating account executives who oversaw specific customers' campaigns. JWT's Detroit office opened in 1909 and quickly became known for placing ads for bicycle and automobile manufacturers like Ford. However, by 1920, the agency had closed its doors in Detroit, only to reopen them again when they won Ford's domestic advertising account back in 1944. Initially serving as just a point of contact with Ford, JWT eventually began offering full-range services from their Detroit location under Stanley Resort's leadership between 1916 and 1930. During this time period, advancements were made such as utilizing testimonials within ads, along with high-quality photography that helped set JWT apart from competitors. In 1980, J. Walter Thompson Company became part of JWT Group Incorporated based in Delaware and operated as its holding company. Finally, JWT has been part of WPP Group since 1987 and as an integral member of this prestigious British marketing firm, JWT is proudly carrying on its legacy into the future. Although probably not considered a first choice among car collectors, there are still some impressive examples of this car still around. In barnfinds.com, Mike Stevens describes a 1968 Ford Galaxy XLGT found for sale in 2022. The Ford Galaxy XLGT may not be a highly sought after classic car, but if you're looking for something truly unique, 
then this one-of-a-kind example could be just what you need. Its sunlit gold paint with white interior is a very subtle but sporty look. With only around 2,000 produced in total back when it was new, the fact that it's still around today makes it special enough on its own. Add to that the fact that this particular model has been kept in excellent condition over time and you have an incredibly rare find indeed. This vehicle boasts several noteworthy features, including originally from factory options ordered by previous owner. All of the stripes remain intact according manufacturer specifications. Underhood lies standard issue power plant option equipped across majority models sold during same year period, namely a potent 390 cubic inch V8 with a four barrel carb cranking out over 300 horses. The four speed manual transmission will give you the classic feel of street speed. The air conditioning feature included standard equipment package adds extra comfort benefits during hot summer month cruising. The sporty white interior with buckets, console, and floor shifter will give you a feel you simply can't get in a newer car. Overall, this 1968 Ford Galaxy XL GT would be a stylish cruiser, impressive wherever it was driven. If you want to level up, there is another fine example of the 1968 Ford XL, but this one is a convertible with the very desirable 428 cubic inch engine and four-speed manual transmission. It's the car to own if you want people to see you enjoying classic power. This car was featured in 2020 in bringatrailer.com website, where at the time it was sold for a cool $37,500. This Galaxy 500 based Q code XL. This car is one of 20 14 speed stick shift 428 cubic inch powered XL convertibles delivered with the GT equipment group for 1968, of which only six were painted candy apple red. Additional exterior features include a gold stripe that stretches down each side of the car, chrome trim, and 428 and GT badging behind the front wheel. Steel 15 wheels wear stock simulated mag covers. Braking is handled by power assisted front discs and rear drums as part of the GT equipment group. The interior is finished in red and features front bucket seats with a matching dashboard, door panels, and carpeting. Additional features include chrome trim, a factory AM radio, power steering, and a red convertible boot cover. A two-spoke steering wheel fronts factory instrumentation that includes a horizontal speedometer. A center console mounted tachometer sits in front of the shifter. The 428 cubic inch V8 breathes through a four barrel carburetor and was factory rated to produce 340 horsepower at 5,400 RPM when new, but everyone knows it produces much more. Power is sent to the rear wheels through a four speed manual transmission and a locking differential. There are many examples of the Ford XL out there, some stock, some modified, all a very comfortable yet powerful car to drive. If you ever have the pleasure to drive one, you will understand. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Vintage Auto Docs. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification of future episodes. This show is inspired by the lifelong collection of Vintage Auto Docs of the late Bill McConkie, a World War II veteran from Cambridge, Ohio. We are grateful beyond measure for his efforts at preserving history through these documents. Join us again soon, as we continue exploring this fascinating topic together. As you journey forward, don't forget, from time to time, to glance back at the rearview mirror. Enjoy the experiences of yesteryear, and have an amazing trip ahead.